Today we are looking at circle geometry and we are going to look at the parts of a circle. We will proceed to look at the various theorems of a circle. Circle geometry. Number one, parts of a circle. Here is a circle. The center is O. I will have the line SY. The line SY from one part of the circumference of the circle to another part, but not necessarily passing through the center of the circle, is called a chord. So, number one, SY is a chord. Next is AB. The line AB is passing through the center of the circle. Therefore, we say that the line AB is a special chord called the diameter. So, 2 AB is a diameter. It is a special chord because it passes through the center of the circle. Then we have SQY, this region that is shaded with harsh lines. This region here is a segment. So we have number three, SQY is a segment. It is a region in a circle. Then we also have BP, this curve from B to P. It is called an arc. So we have our BP is an arc. Then we also have BOP and it's dotted here and this is a sector of a circle you recall here now that the sector of a circle is bounded by the radius here and the radius here and then the arc so we have number five uh, BOP is a sector then we also have KTM a straight line Touching the circle at one distinct point, point T. This line that is touching the circle at this distinct point is called a tangent. So number six, our line KTM is a tangent to the circle. These are the parts of a circle, and of course we know that half of a circle is called a semicircle. So if you have A S Q Y B is a semicircle. We can include that now and say that A S Q Y B is a semicircle. A semicircle is half of a circle. And of course we have already said that half of A B, which is the diameter, is called the radius. So we can also add that. We say half, half of, half of the diameter is called radius. Half of diameter is called radius. So these are the parts of a circle which we are going to be using to solve problems. We we'll now proceed to look at some of the theorems of a circle. The theorems that we can use to solve problems of a circle. Here we will start with the first theorem. A line drawn from the center of a circle to a chord is perpendicular to the chord and it passes the chord. What we are saying here is, there is here is a circle and this is the center of the circle represented by the point O. Now a line from the center of the circle to the chord AB passes this chord AB by bisection it means it divides it into two equal parts and of course it is also perpendicular to it. That is, it makes an angle of 90 degrees with the line AB, which is the chord. So here you see now that OM will be regarded as the height of that line. So we have OM 
is perpendicular to AB. And then of course, our AB, the length of AB is equal to 2 times the length of AN. And of course, it's also equal to 2 times the length of BN. Our OA is equal to OB, and that is the radius arrow of the circle. So by Pythagoras' rule, we have that our arrow squared is equal to OM squared plus AM squared. You have your OM squared plus AM squared, giving you the value of arrow squared. Or OM squared plus BM squared. This and this they are equal. This and this they are also what? Equal. So later now, we substitute the values and we take the square root of the sum of those values. Then of course, we will have the radius of that uh, circle. So we can write our arrow is actually equal to the square root of OM squared plus BM also squared or the alternative. We now look at circle theorems. The first theorem we treated was on the curve, the theorem on the curve. And where we said that the line from the center to a chord bases the chord and is perpendicular to the chord. But now we are looking at circle theorems and there are many theorems on circle. The first one is the angle subtended by an arc of a circle at the center of the circle is twice that which is subtended at any point on this other part of the circumference. Now, this theorem has three figures or diagrams representing the information. The first one is when the angle AOB is an obtuse angle. In this case, you see the line PQ by setting the figure, and then of course, from O to A and from O to P is the radius of the circle. Now, this means that our AOP is an isosceles triangle because from O to A and from O to P are equal. Therefore, the base angles, that is why I've represented this with A and A, they are equal. So this angle and this angle, they are equal. Similarly, this angle B and B are also what? Equal. Now, our interest is to find the value of angle AOB in terms of A and B. For the obvious case, the theorem is stating and telling you that this angle AOB, which is made up of angle AOQ and then angle BOQ, and of course this angle here is what? Is the exterior angle to this triangle, so this will be 2A, and this other one will be 2B. If you add this plus this, you have uh, 2A plus 2B. And eventually, what does that give to you? Angle AOB will be equal to 2 times APB, where APB is A plus B. So this is 2 into A plus B. And of course, if you look at my explanation, 2 times A is 2A, 2 times B is 2B. So this angle AOB is, that is the obtuse angle here, not the reflex one, is equal to 2 into A plus B. That is the obtuse case. Now similarly, we have the reflex case, where this angle AOB is a reflex angle. By now, we ought to know what we mean by a reflex angle. The reflex angle is an angle that is more than 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. And of course, an obtuse angle is an angle that is more than 90, but less than 180 degrees. So for the reflex case, look at the diagram. From here to here, from here to here is the radius. The same thing from here to here, and from here to here is the radius. Then we are looking for this angle here. Of course, this is the exterior angle to this triangle. So this is 2A. Similarly, this is 2B. Just like the obtuse case. And eventually, we have our angle AOB is equal to 2 times angle APB, which is equal to 2 into A plus B. So the reflex case and the obtuse case, 
they are the same. It's just that the diagrams are a little bit different. But here we come to the third diagram. This is a little bit different from the first two. Here is the acute case where the angle at the center is an acute angle, meaning that the angle here, angle A, O, B, is less than 90 degrees. Good. For this acute case, what happens? Observe the diagram. This is the angle at the center, and from here, this is the angle at the circumference. Angle at the center, this is the angle at the circumference. But by the diagram, A, O, P, is a triangle, and then we also have B, O, P, is also a triangle. And by this one, this is an associated triangle. So this angle is A, this one is A. Similarly, this is B, and the whole of this one is B. The whole of this one. That's why you see me indicating it's there. It's also angle B. So, and where is the angle at the center? This one. Where is the angle at the circumference? This one here. Not including this part. So to get this angle, you will subtract this part, which is A, from the entire B. That is why we have that angle AOB is equal to 2 times APB, which translates to 2 times B minus A. This is the only situation where you subtract the angles. But the other two cases, you added the angles. So take note of that, specifically the acute form. And then know that in the acute case, you are subtracting one angle from the other to get the angle at the circumference. To the B, angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. That is a right angle. 90 degrees means a right angle. Here is a diagram for you. The circle. A, P, Q, B. The center is O, and then from the point A to the circumference P, back to the point B. Also from the point A, down to the circumference Q, and back to the point B. This angle, A, P, B, is 90 degrees, indicated with a symbol there. And then this angle, A, Q, B, is also 90 degrees. Reason. Our AOB is 180 degrees, a straight angle, angles on a straight line, as we sometimes say. Then angle APB, APB is equal to AQB, and then they are half of the angles on the straight line, which is 180 degrees, and is equal to 90. Remember that this is not the angle at the center, it's twice the angle at the circumference. That same first theorem is what has been applied in this second theorem of angle in a semicircle. Now we have theorem C. The theorem C says the angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. In other words, angles subtended by the same arc are equal. We need to know what we mean by angles in the same segment. A circle usually is divided into two segments, a major or a minor segment. For example, if I draw a line across A, let's do this, from A to B, I have divided this circle into two parts. This smaller part is a minor segment while the other one is a major segment. So any angle on the circumference of the major segment will definitely be equal. That is what they are saying. If we have taken it down to the minor segment, we will also have the similar result. So here we have this angle A and B. That is APB and AQB are on the same segment. Hence, we say that angle AOB is equal to 2 times APB and it's also equal to 2 times AQB. The angle at the center here is twice this angle. It's also twice this angle. So which means this is equal to 2A because this angle is A and the same thing as what? 2B because this angle is B. In other words, our angle A is equal to angle B. 
That's exactly what the children is telling us. So the angles in the same segment of a circle, they are equal. Children D. Angles in opposite segments of a circle are supplementary. In other words, we are saying that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Now let's take a look at the diagram. There is a circle. And here A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a plane shape that has four sides. So here is a plane shape that has four sides. You can see it clearly here. A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. Those are the four sides of the figure which makes it a quadrilateral. Now these are the opposite angles. The opposite angles of the quadrilateral. So the theorem is telling you that the angles in opposite segments of a circle are supplementary. Being supplementary means that they will add up to 180 degrees. That is to say, our S plus Y is equal to 180 degrees. Our A plus B is equal to 180 degrees. Remember, supplementary is different from complementary. In case of complementary, you talk about two angles adding up to 90 degrees. But in supplementary, two angles adding up to 180 degrees. That is the, uh, the theorem on the angles in opposite segment of the circle and they are supplementary. Take note of that. S plus Y is 180 degrees. A plus B is 180 degrees. Children E. The exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. The exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle. Many of us we have come across a serial angle of a triangle. Do you still remember what it's all equal to? We said then that the serial angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Good. Here we have a quadrilateral. Look at the circle and look at the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Now the line B, C is produced to E creating the exterior angle here, Y. And then the line CD is produced to S, creating also the an exterior angle of S in this case. Now, the children is saying that this angle here is equal to the interior opposite angle. This is the interior opposite angle. This is the exterior angle. This is the interior opposite angle. The interior one is the angle inside the circle and of course of the quadrilateral so we are saying in conclusion therefore that our DCE is equal to BAD and is equal to Y degrees and then our ADF ADF that is represented by S here is equal to ABC represented also by S here and is equal to S degree so the exterior angle of a circular quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. Here are some solved examples. Number one, find the value of the angle marked S, given that O is the center of the circle. The answers are, the options are as follows. A, 40 degrees. B, 100 degrees, C, 100 degrees, D, 50 degrees. Now let's look at the figure here. Our solution. Observe that this is the center. So the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. You see, from this point here to the center, from the center down to the circumference. From the same point here to the circumference and back to this point here. So this angle is the angle at the circumference. Why this angle is the angle at the center? So our solution there will be S is equal to half of the angle at the center, which is 80 degrees, and this eventually will give you 40 degrees. So option A is the correct answer to this problem.
Example number two. In the diagram below, O is the center of the circle. Angle UOT is equal to 70 degrees and angle ROST is equal to 100 degrees. Calculate angle ROUO. A, 50 degrees. B, 20 degrees. C, 80 degrees. D, 25 degrees. Here is the diagram. Our solution, recall that we said angles in opposite segments are supplementary. Angles in opposite segments of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So we have angle arrow UT will be equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees. So this will give you 80 degrees. Now, if the whole of ROU2, this is ROU2, is 80 degrees, we need to find the value of ROUO, that is this angle here. Before we can get that, recall that triangle OUT is a socialist. Triangle, it's a socialist. So if it's a socialist, the base angles which is angle U will be equal to the angle C and that is a 180 degrees minus 70 degrees divided by 2 and of course that will give you 110 divided by 2 and that is 55 degrees now you have gotten the angle U and then angle T which is this angle here so this angle U is 55 degrees what then is the value of this angle? Knowing fully well that ROUT is 80 degrees. Therefore, we now say angle ROUO, angle ROUO, which is this angle, will be equal to the angle 80 degrees, which is 80 minus 55. And when you subtract 55 from 80, you have 25 degrees. And the correct option there is option D. Example number three. We have a diagram here and it described as follows. P, R, and S lie on the circle of center O as shown in the diagram. Y, Q lies outside in the circle. Find angle P, S, O. A, 45, B, 55, C 30 and D 40 degrees. Now our solution. What you look at for, you are told to find this angle PSO. And before we can find this angle PSO, we have to find the following. First and foremost, we see now that our angle PRS is equal to 25 degrees plus 25 degrees sum of the angle of the, the, the sum of the, uh, the two interior angles equal to the exterior angle so we have our P ROS this angle is equal to 25 plus 35 and that is equal to 60 degrees the reason as I said exterior angle of a triangle PQR. So this is a stereo angle of triangle PQR. And remember we said that the stereo angle of the triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite uh, angles. Now that we have gotten this, we can now find our POS that is the angle at the center here, which is twice the angle at the circumference, so 2 times 60 degrees. And that is equal to 120 degrees. And the obvious reason here is that angle at center, angle at center, is equal to 2 times the angle PROS. Alright, now that we have gotten that, this, we now recall that triangle P 
OS is a socialist. So, so long as this triangle is a socialist, then we can find any of this angle. Therefore, our angle PSO will be equal to 180 minus 120 and then divided by 2. But there are two angles that we share the difference. And so that is equal to 60 all over 2 and the value is equal to 30 degrees. So option C is the correct option to this problem. Option C. Example number 4. Here is a diagram. The circle. See the triangles. And then observe here. This is the center of the circle. So in the figure O is the center of the circle PQR. Angle arrow TS is 45 and angle TSP is 25. Find angle PQR. And you have options A 70 degrees, B 110 degrees, C 125 degrees, D 350 degrees. The first thing is to identify the angle you are to find. Angle P Q R this angle here. You recall that from this point here you have a quadrilateral. This is a case of the theorem which says that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. This is the reflex case. If you observe it carefully, this is the reflex case. So all I need to do is to find this angle from here to here. Now, I can find this angle by first of all, finding the value of this angle O. So when I say a triangle, sorry, let me start with the solution. Solution. When I say that a triangle TOS, we have that angle O is equal to 180 minus 45 minus 25 and that will give you 110 degrees and of course you also discovered here that our angle POR is also equal to 110 degrees vertically opposite angle they are vertically opposite vertically opposite and when they are vertically opposite they are said to be equal now that we know that, we can find the reflex angle, reflex POR, that is from this line to this point here. We find the reflex angle. And that reflex angle will be equal to the sum of the angles at a point, which is 360 degrees, minus 110 degrees. And this eventually will give you 250 degrees. 250 degrees. Now that you know the reflex angle, you can therefore find the angle at the circumference. Therefore, our angle PQR will be equal to half of 250. 125 degrees. And that is option C. And you see how the theorem was applied. For finding the sum of the angles of a triangle, using that to get one of the angles, Getting the vertically opposite angles are equal, subtracting from 360 degrees to get the reflex angle, then finding half of that to give you the angle and the circumference. Example number five. Here is a diagram for you a circle and then a triangle. And we are required in this case to find the angle max S. So the, the angle marked S in the diagram above is that. And what is that? A, 43, B, 37, C, 34, D, 24. Take a look at the diagram. There is a circle, there is a triangle. And of course, there is a quadrilateral, a circular quadrilateral. And then you can see that this line is produced up to this point creating an exterior angle of a circling quadrilateral. This is now a serial angle of a circling quadrilateral. Let us name this one 
angle A. So our solution, our A is equal to 65 degrees. The obvious reason being that exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. So this is exterior angle of a cyclic quad. A cyclic quad. Quad for quadrilateral. And we know what that means. The exterior angle of a cyclic quad is equal to the interior opposite angle. So that is why A is equal to 65. Now that you have known A, you recall again that A plus S is equal to 97 degrees. Who can tell me the reason for that? Yes? Good. It says the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the two interior opposite angles. So the exterior angle of the triangle. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the two interior opposite angles. So now we have known A, so we substitute A 65 degrees plus S equal to 97 degrees. Therefore your S is equal to 97 minus 65 and that is going to be equal to 32 degrees. Now let's see, 5 from this is 2, 6 from 9 is 32. So we have 32 degrees. And that means that our options there Nothing is wrong with that. Nothing is wrong with that. So I think it should be this. This should be our 32 degrees. So option B is the correct answer. 32 degrees. Option B. Exercise number one. In the diagram, O is the center of the circle. P O M is the diameter. And angle M and Q is equal to 42 degrees. Calculate angle Q and P. Option A, 138 degrees. B, 132 degrees. C, 42 degrees. D, 48 degrees. Question number two. Determine the value of S in the figure below. Here is the figure. Option A, 134 degrees. Option B, 81 degrees. Option C, 53 degrees. Option D, 46 degrees. Question number three. Here is another diagram for you. This angle is S, this angle is Y. In the diagram above, O is the center of the circle. The relationship between S and Y is A. S degree plus Y degree is equal to 180 degrees. B. Half S degrees plus Y degrees is equal to 180 degrees. C. S degrees plus Y degrees is equal to 240 degrees. D. Half S degrees plus Y degrees is equal to 240 degrees. Question number four. Another diagram here describing that in the diagram, if angle ROPS equal to 50 degrees, angle ROPQ equal to 30 degrees, and PQ equal to QR, find the value of angle PROS. Here are the options A, 50 degrees, B, 60 degrees, C, 70 degrees, and D, 80 degrees. Question number five. Here is the diagram for you. In the figure above, PQRS is a circle. If PQT and SROT are straight lines, find the value of X. Option A, 59 degrees. Option B, 77 degrees. Option C, 103 degrees. Option D, 121 degrees. Answer number one D number two A number three B number four C and number five 
Sí.